Did Graham Hancock manage to convince you that there was a lost civilization at the end of the last Ice Age? If he did, that's fine. Because Graham Hancock is a very convincing man. But the problem is Graham Hancock isn't telling you the whole story. Because when his theories are exposed to the slightest bit of pressure, they fall apart faster than you can say mainstream academia. Last week, we exposed the lies of Graham Hancock's first two episodes. In a video which not only made it to the trending page, but is also now the first thing that comes up on YouTube if you search Ancient Apocalypse. Get absolutely dunked on, Graham Hancock. Did I hear someone say ding ding? Because it's time for round two. Tonight I'm going to be explaining how Graham Hancock got confused by this pile of rocks, has a loose understanding of what the sun is, and trusts modern satellite imagery less than a map that was drawn 500 years ago by a guy sailing around the world in a wooden ship with a goddamn pencil. So if you do truly believe in Graham Hancock's theory, you should have no problem hearing an opposing viewpoint. But hey, if you don't want to, I totally understand. Challenging your viewpoints can be uncomfortable and scary. Analyzing Ancient Apocalypse Part 2 premieres tonight at 5pm Eastern Standard Time on my YouTube channel. Same username. Let's dance, Grammy boy, I can do this all day.